Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. As usual, this video has subtitles, so if you just click on CC on your screen, they'll appear. The Psalms today are numbers 142 and 143. I will read Psalm 142 today, leaving you to read Psalm 143 later on if you'd like to. In Psalm 142, the psalmist cries out to God and pours out all his complaints. He talks of a heaviness of spirit, but also speaks of God as his hope. In our prayers today, we will pray for all those who have a heavy spirit, that they may know God and recognise him as their hope. The Old Testament reading set for today is the whole of Deuteronomy chapter 33, where Moses blesses the children of Israel before his death. The New Testament reading is 1 John chapter 4, beginning at verse 7. This is the one I will read today. John says, Love one another, for love is of God. And as we pray today, let's hold the love of God in our hearts and our minds, and he will pour his love upon us and all our loved ones and neighbours. And so as we enter into our time of prayer, we ask you, Lord, to send your Holy Spirit amongst us, wherever we may be, to bring us into your presence in peace, and fellowship. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Psalm number 142 With my voice I cry to the Lord, with my voice I make supplication to the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him, I tell my trouble before him. When my spirit is faint, you know my way. In the path where I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. Look on my right hand and see. There is no one who takes notice of me. No refuge remains to me. No one cares for me. I cry to you, O Lord. I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Give heed to my cry, for I am brought very low. Save me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring me out of prison, so that I may give thanks to your name. The righteous will surround me, and you will deal bountifully with me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Magnificat My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden, for behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich 
he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed, for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our New Testament reading for today. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit, and we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Saviour of the world. God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God, and they abide in God. So we have known and believed the love of God for us. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness on the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, for fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. We love because he first loved us. Those who say, I love God and hate their brothers or sisters are liars, for those who do not love a brother or a sister whom they have seen, cannot love God, whom they have not seen. The commandment we have from on, on high is this. Those who love God must love their brothers and sisters also. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried, he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, 
the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. And the Collect of the Day. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ has gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour, Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we come to our intercessions. And in today's prayers, we think of our world and everyone in it. We pray particularly for those who are feeling heavy in spirit, anxious and fearful for their future and the future of those they love. The psalmist tells us, that he will put his hope in God. Father, help us to recognise you as our hope. And Father, we ask you today to pour your blessings upon those who fret and feel so anxious that they cannot be still in your presence. We pray for them. We hold them before you, that you may pour your Holy Spirit upon them and that they may feel your peace which knows no bounds. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
We pray for those who feel that they have nothing to be hopeful for. We ask that you shine your light into their hearts so that they may see your goodness and be hopeful that all will be well. In these difficult times, may we all see the beauty in the world around us, which you in your bountiful goodness created for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask you, Father, to be with the isolated and the housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Father, reveal them to us so that we may show them the face of Christ and offer support and comfort. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask you to protect our homes and families, our schools and our young people, particularly at this time that we anticipate schools to be opening again. Reassure those who are distressed or concerned And we hold before you any who are in particular need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we ask for a blessing on your, your people in our local community. That our neighbourhoods may be places of trust and friendship where all are known and cared for. We ask that we may be kind to each other and that you pour your Holy Spirit down upon us to renew and refresh us and to breathe new life into our churches. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so, Father, as this day draws to a close, draw us closer to you, and may your holy angels guard our slumber tonight and all nights. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. And let's close this evening prayer by saying the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.